Two women scream at army officials outside a prison in central Cairo. The officials are more worried about us recording the moment than about what they're saying. The women have lost their relatives, men who joined the protests and then disappeared, taken away by the army. They're among a large group gathered demanding information. There are hundreds of cases uh, where civilians are, be, are being put before military trials since the military has uh, been into the streets with the starting of the revolution. Abdel Ramadan is a human rights lawyer. He says they thought the army were friends of the people and the revolution, but with torture and human rights violations, it seems they're not. We're in a race with time to try to uh, find these people and uh, stand uh, beside them. Uh, the trial takes only two days and uh, the sentence is sometimes uh, five years up to 15 years. A grainy video clip shows how the military dealt with last Friday's protest in the early hours of the morning. People were beaten and given powerful electric shocks. Stop filming, give me the camera, the soldier says. Why are you beating us? We're brothers, the man shouts back. One of those beaten and taken away was Ama Abdullah al Bari. He's already been tried in a closed military court and sentenced. His brother Mohammed is campaigning for his release. His trial took only three minutes, uh, in which he was sentenced five years. Um, the uh, court did not uh, uh, hear any testimonies, uh, which was presented uh, before in writing, uh, and uh, there were no lawyers who were uh, with him at the trial. It's not an isolated case. The Interior Ministry and its special police units were blamed for much of the violence. Indeed, the former Interior Minister goes on trial tomorrow. But Nadim Mansour has carried out many interviews researching human rights abuses. At least a dozen have had testimonies of uh, severe torture by the army. We had at least ten witnesses of uh, mass torture with electric shocks, uh, whips, beating them up and other uh, types of torture that was used systematically on everyone who was detained. Shopkeeper Mohammed Hussein was one. He was arrested four days after the protests began and handed over to the army. They started to beat me with the sticks. Then they tied my hands behind my back and bound my legs together and started to give me electric shocks with tasers. Then I was hit all over, on my head, on my legs. All of this was done by the armed forces. The opinion of the army is becoming more mixed as people hear these stories. They say they want rid of the old regime. The army is very much part of that regime. With factories producing olive oil, mineral water, clothes, it's big business. Cynics argue they have an incentive to back the revolution. The Armed Forces Supreme Council does not give interviews, but Sama Saif al is a retired general who still works for the government. Well, actually, I refuse to say that the word of the army is torturing people. Believe me, the army doesn't want at all to be involved in any aggression. Building democracy after a revolution and decades without real political opposition is not easy. It'll take time. The army gained time through the trust of the people. If that trust is lost, the whole project is in jeopardy.